Before you begin, make sure you are in a well-ventilated area and review the latest safety data sheet. You will need Momentum's SRC18, Momentum's Silk Grip PSA, a cup or container, a stick to mix, a scale, a roller, brush, or any suitable coating device, a towel, and in this case I will be using a clamp and a timer, and finally the substrates you will bond together. SRC18 and Silk Grip PSA are used to bond silicone materials, aluminum, carbon fiber, glass cloth, and many other substrates. In this example, we will bond aluminum to silicone. We will show a few additional samples at the end of the video. To begin, clean and dry all surfaces to be bonded. A lint-free towel with some solvent can be used to ensure all grease, oil, and debris are removed. Turn on your scale. Place the cup or container on the scale. Zero out the scale again. Pour Momentum Silk Grip PSA into the cup or container on the scale. In this case, I think I'll need about 100 grams of Silk Grip PSA material. Once complete, zero out the scale again. Next, add Momentum's SRC18 to the Silk Grip PSA. Pour 3.3 parts per weight of SRC18 into the Silk Grip PSA. In this case, since I added 100 grams of Silk Grip PSA, I will add 3.3 grams of SRC18. You may want to pre-pour your components or use a medicine dropper for the SRC18. Next, stir the liquid thoroughly until the SRC18 is well mixed into the PSA. Apply the adhesive to one of the two substrates to be bonded using your brush, roller, or coating device. Thinning, if required, may be done with toluene or paint thinner. Before assembling the pieces, you must allow for the solvent in the adhesive to evaporate. This is known as drying time. The length of drying time will depend on solvent used, adhesive thickness, and temperature. A good starting point is 20 minutes. Not shown in this video, but a heat gun could also be used to speed up drying time. After 20 minutes, check the substrate. In this example, I'm using PSA 529. As you can see, it is rather tacky and ready for bond. Please note if using moment of 6573A, TAC levels won't be as high. If solvent is evaporated from the adhesive, the surfaces to be bonded should be firmly pressed together and the adhesive should be allowed to cure. Since I am making small sample parts in this demo, I went ahead and placed the pieces in a clamp. Cure is a function of time and temperature. Room temperature cure around 75F will need 3 to 7 days for the catalyzed adhesive to develop maximum strength. The cure time can be shortened by elevating temperature to a maximum of 329F. A typical shortened cure cycle is 24 hours at 77F followed by 24 hours at 212F. If using PSA 6573A, if possible, it is recommended to expose the laminate to 200F in an oven with some light pressure for 20 seconds. Then remove from the oven and allow to cool. This helps promote optimal adhesion. If leftover catalyzed adhesive, meaning PSA blended with SRC18, 
stored in tightly closed containers, and used within 48 hours. Thank you for watching this video on Momentum's PSA 529 or PSA 6573A silicone contact adhesive with SRC18 catalyst. Please contact Momentum or Momentum's distribution network to learn more about these products.